From high tech to old school, corporate to mom and pop, Chelmsford, Mass. has a thriving business community. And every month, the Chelmsford Business Association visits two local businesses. We learn what makes each one successful, what makes it unique, and what makes it an integral part of the town we love. So let's get down to business with the Chelmsford Business Association. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Chelmsford Business Association. It is a busy, busy morning here in Chelmsford Center. We're in front of the Artisans Exchange. It's a new business and an old building. It's probably one of the oldest buildings in town and I think it's the newest business we have. And here we've got a lot of action here. <laughs> Chelmsford Lumber, our good friends at Chelmsford Lumber. We're gonna go in, we're gonna meet with Carissa, Eileen, and Sarah, three local artists that have put together a business here in town that you're gonna absolutely flip over. They've got a lot of very unique, interesting things. They make their own stuff. They have about 60 local people involved in this thing. And it truly is a group of artists that have just got together and they're putting out some fantastic things. And you're gonna to wanna to come inside here on the Chelmsford Business Association. Well, we're inside a nice toasty Artisans Exchange on a cold October morning, and we're here with Eileen Deschaves, one of the founders here at Artisan Exchange. Welcome to the show. Good morning. How are you? I'm um, great, thanks. Thanks so much for having Paul and I here. This place is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. When I walked in the door this morning, it, it's like a museum, it's like a craft show, it's like a, it's, it's almost like in a... Um, like you expect to see Billy Crystal come out like the old man <laughs> and the Princess Bride. Is, it's like so great here. Well, that's what we expect. We, we have something for everyone here. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is um, a group of artists, the three of you. You have two partners. We're going to meet them in just a little bit. Yes. But you guys put this together, and there was a community of artists and, and local craftspeople that just got together and just were knocking down your door. Yes, we have over 60 different artists local from the local Merrimack Valley area, a few a little bit further, but um, majority of our artists are from the Merrimack Valley area and they do a little bit of everything. Some do small crafts and some do amazing large oil paintings. We have something for everyone here. Yeah, yeah, and like we saw, like there's a lot, of, some of the food things here, we have the yeah. Chelmsford maple syrup made yeah, from Chelmsford maple trees. You don't get much local, much more local <laughs> than that. Bill Ricca honey, we have something, you know. Yeah. Uh, you don't get much more local than those. Right, yeah, no, for sure. And now, uh, and there's also, the, um, as we took our tour this morning, there's just so many things, handmade stuff, the fabrics, the jewelry, the paintings, the yes. uh, photographs, and some and some really some special people that I know we want to talk about just a little bit. But tell me a little bit about how this got started. I know when you guys uh, try to put this together, Sarah had an idea and started making a few phone calls. And Sarah and Carissa, my wonderful partners, are wonderful artists. And they had been doing craft fairs and craft circuits and things. And it just wasn't as profitable, probably, as they had wanted it to be. And they are you know, talking to a lot of craft people. And they said, wouldn't it be great if we had one place that everyone could come together and kind of have this craft art show every day? for people to come and experience art and see things every single day. Um, so it was kind of just a great idea that they had. And when this building became available and they looked around and they looked peeked in the windows, they just found that, fell in love with it um, and kind of pitched it to a few idea, to few people. And I think I was the first one to kind of jump on their bandwagon and say, yeah, yeah that's a yeah. fantastic idea. Let's make it happen. Well, you know, and this building is part of Sarah's vision as we were talking earlier, this building is is much of a part of the um, the vibe here absolutely. as any of the artists. This the building is absolutely perfect. Absolutely. This is um, Ruthie Emery's bakery yeah. from 1945. I remember as a kid, you know, this being the bakery. Yeah, it's fun. It's interesting. You should say that because a lot of the folks come in from town and tell us great stories about them, about their donuts. They ask us if we can pipe in the smell. <laughs> so we are working on that. Um, but they, you know, we we find some great stories from that. And our owner, uh, the. Uh, the gentleman we rent the building from has saved some of the signs for us so we have some of the signs that we can show you back in the classroom um, that are original to the bakery wow. so it's really fun to have that part of history and that part of Chelmsford here and it just goes with us I don't think it would work anywhere else yeah oh yeah it's and just a great place for it and the old mill stone and the yeah. saw blade and I, I know um, 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 Ellen Gates did an eagle project here um, over at the stream and yep. just fantastic stuff 
Yeah. Well, we've got um, a couple of partners and 60 artists, and we yeah. want to have, uh, <laughs> have time for everything, so let's go have a look. Let, let's go. Now, Sarah, here's some of the, the jewelry stuff that's going on here, and this is just absolutely beautiful. What am I looking at right here? Well, right here, these pieces actually are some of mine. Um, we have... Well, isn't that convenient? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have, I believe, seven different jewelry makers that, um, we, ha that we sell their work here. Uh, these ones happen to be mine. Um, a lot of my stuff is historically inspired, so these are a Viking weave. It's a chain that was... Um, it's been around for well over a thousand years. It's a hand crocheted style of silver chain. Um, well, now wait a minute. What did what did you do with this whole thing? It's 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 very particular. You take silver wire and you crochet. Tiny, you crocheted tiny, this? Yeah, around and make that tube basically, and then it's the chain. You don't just buy the chain and put the thing on it. Well, I do it for some of it. Like that that chain there is purchase chain, but um, but then all the. So oh, that's absolutely that's beautiful. I'm a, I'm a metalsmith. We have two metalsmiths that have their work here, myself and Daniel Robichaud. And um, and then several other fantastic jewelry makers that that use um, already made pieces. Sure. Um, Regina McGeerty being one of them, one of our most popular ones. Um, so Yeah. So yeah, so we have a great diversity of jewelry. We have some people who have some beaded bracelets here. And so we run the gamut of, of jewelry work. Yeah, yeah. I just thought back to, you know, when I was in Boy Scouts, we used to tie these things up. But, I mean, yep. this is absolutely yep. beautiful. It's a little bit of a different Yeah, my, <laughs> my sister Kelly um, went to the decor of a museum mm -hmm. and silversmithing and, yep. and so yep. forth. Yep. And just some great work. And yep. uh, this is it's, it's absolutely really beautiful. It's fun to do. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us a little bit about you. This was your vision. You were driving by. You saw the police sign out yeah, front. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had thought that this would be a family fantastic little craft shop for a long time and Carissa had also thought that independently and um, and then once the building went up for lease it just felt like kismet um, sure and all three of us happened to be available in our personal and um, professional, professional lives, lives yeah. at the time and it just it was perfect timing and the perfect location and all the artisans have just been falling into place after that yeah now um, as we were talking to Eileen earlier, we were saying about how the community of artists um, got excited and, and, and got involved. When we say artists, we mean craftspeople and yes. craft fair exhibitors. Absolutely. I mean, just a lot of Absolutely. people. Absolutely. That's one of the important things that I want people to know is um, art and artists aren't just, it's not just these multi-hundred dollar oil paintings. Right. Um, you know, a four dollar hand macrame keychain is also a piece of art. Right. And anybody can make art. And yeah. And that's a lot of people don't feel like artists themselves, but everybody has an artist Sure. Well, Thomas in the back room, we exactly. saw some of his yes. work. Yes, right? he's a fantastic artist. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and that is so true in that, um, you know, we, uh, we had a chance to talk to um, Joe Reddy and his partner Ken up at the um, craft beer store mm -hmm. up in, in uh, Vinyl Square. Yep. And we were talking about how some of these brewers, you know, some of these, um, you know, people that are making food like the honey and the maple syrup and the, um, and the beers and mm -hmm. so forth, are artists. They're manufacturing Absolutely. something. It's for sale. It's a commodity of sorts. Absolutely. But there is yep. a, and I, you know, if, if we just come down a little bit and look closer to the ground at some of the things we're buying. Mm -hmm. There really is some high quality stuff out there. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And it's one of the things that the whole buying local push, right. it really helps you kind of see that because yeah. it is, it, when you buy something that's mass produced, yes, yeah, somebody at one point in time had this idea and developed right. it, but it's, it's far, it's, um, it's pretty far removed from the original thing, right? Um, and so local things like that. It's funny you actually mentioned the um, the the beers, the craft beer store up there. Yeah. We're going to be doing an event with them. Um, oh, really? In December. Yeah. Um, yeah. So well, I mentioned it because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You know. So. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but yeah. So anything, even you know, foods and beverages and jewelry and like anything that you can get on the local level is just fantastic. Yeah. For, for our local area and 
and on a more global scale. Right, right, exactly. And you know, it just feels better. You know, yes. it just has a better feeling. Yes, and, and you to have feel, that connection. To, yeah. To what you're wearing, what you're eating, what you're. Right. Yeah. You know, and I can't wait to be able to point to the tree that this maple syrup came from. I'm looking forward to that. You probably can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You might have one on your street. Right. Now, um, the uh, artists that we have here, the, the jewelry and so forth, if we could take a minute and just talk mm -hmm. about, there's a special artist that I, I had it caught my attention. Mm -hmm. There's a woman who takes photographs of pets yep. and animals, and then she makes a painting out of it. Yes, yeah, yeah, that is Christine Winship, the pedigree artist, and uh, we have a couple of her paintings up here and, okay. and a bunch more in the other room, but these ones here are examples of some of the pet portraits that she does, um, so people can send her in a, a photo of their pet, and she makes these beautiful watercolor paintings of yeah. them, and they're really, she does a fantastic job, just, they're so expressive. Yeah. Um, and it, in one of the things, and we were kind of laughing a little bit about just how clever that is, is you can actually make these into cards. She yep. makes them into cards to yep. send to people. Yep. Yeah, you, know, you can and, do pretty much anything with and, them. And, you know, your cousin or your aunt who knows your dog, and you send them, and there's a picture uh -huh. of your dog, and you're saying, yep. you know, hope you're feeling better or whatever. It's just Absolutely. such yep. a, a great idea. You yep. know, so... Yep. Uh, so creative, and that's really the thing with artists is that not only are they making wonderful things, but they get that next step of creativity. You know, we're looking here at some soaps that... Yep. Um, yeah, she actually makes those very locally. Um, she's in North Chelmsford, and she also does some of her production here on site in our building. Really? Um, and obviously you can't smell it through the um, through But the we TV, have smell of vision The smell yeah. is just incredible. Um, anytime she brings down a new batch of soap or brings it in, just the whole place smells incredible for the next several days. And even just walking by, we're a little used to it now, but... Sure, it's not Ruby's Donuts, right, but it's... Right, right, <laughs> but it's, it's pretty amazing, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, it is. And I gotta just tell you folks at home, this place, it's just, it lights right up when you walk in, the smells, the... The whole vibe is just something you need to come here and walk through this this place. And there's um and there's a couple of other things we want to talk about. Um, why don't we get Carissa and we'll we'll yeah. continue our trip. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Carissa, we're here, and this is kind of a combination of the uh, photography studio, the uh, books. We talked earlier about the book club. Yes, yeah, so we started a book, book club last month because we have a selection of local authors. Many of them are self-published. Um, they're wonderful people. They're very creative. They have amazing stories. And uh, it's just another avenue of the arts where we could support local artists and craftspeople. Um, last month, we had uh, Laura Fadolfi here. She has the Revealing Hannah book series. She came and she gave a wonderful talk. She's a very talented storyteller. This month for October, we have Cameron James, who writes horror. She has a, a book called Dollhouse, which is our selection this month. Really? We have book club uh, Saturday of this week for that. And we're going to continue every month with a different local author. I believe November is Rick Conti. He does historical fiction. So yeah. we just are going to keep doing that. That, um, featuring a different author and they're very happy to come free event at the end of the month talk to people about writing sign the their process, books yeah. yeah it's great yeah book clubs are so much fun you know uh, my wife and I we spent some time down in Falmouth and we had a chance to see the author William Martin who wrote Back Bay and yes. Annapolis and Cape Cod and he's talking about the gold rush and he took us pretty much through his research mm -hmm. of the book without telling the story too much, but it was like so fascinating to hear this historical account. And yes. when you talk to... It really is. Uh, they give you, you know, what inspired them to write this book and the process, and that's really interesting to hear. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you, it's great to see an author as they're talking because they're so enthusiastic about something that they spent all this time alone doing. There's yep. nothing more lonely than no, it's true. writing a book, maybe doing solitary confinement, but I mean, <laughs> that is like such a one-person show, just Yeah, some of them lock book. themselves in a room and they write and write and write, um, and then so they, then they have to tell you about it, yeah. They come out and it's like, look what I did, <laughs> it's so great, yeah, it's so great. Yeah, and now the book club, um, it's just, and it's not just the artists that come, it's like open to the public. Oh, it's open you know? to everybody. Yeah. Uh, they can come in if they want to purchase a copy of the book, they can, so that they can read it ahead of time. Yeah. Some of them are at the library, uh, Chelmsford Public Library. Yeah. And then the event of the book club, we serve light refreshments, and we sit around and we listen oh, no, to the uh, author talk. So light it's, refreshments. It's really great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, and we have an artist here, this, Mr. Jordan, he did a, this eclipse 
photo here that I just can't get over. Tell us a little bit about him. Kevin Jordan is a Chelmsford native. He's a Chelmsford High School graduate. He loves to camp out and get up at the sunrise and take beautiful photos of nature and landscapes. Uh, they're amazing. He's a great seller. People love his work. Each one of his photos has a story with it about uh, what he did to take the picture and where yeah. he was. That eclipse is That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, he's a um, local guy. He's, he's a local engineer. guy. He also has taught and will continue to teach classes uh, for people who are looking to do more with their cameras. You know how everybody gets those digital cameras and they don't know what to do with them? Kevin will teach you what to do with it yeah. to start to make different and better pictures. I was listening to a photographer the other day, and, and he, said to, he said the lighting. He says if you just pay attention to lighting, just turn somebody a little bit so the light is a little bit... It makes all the difference. And so many times we need a guide. You know, yeah. my camera's full of these crazy things, you know. And, um, and it'd be nice if I knew a little more about that because it is such an important part of everybody's day-to-day. Oh, yeah. Day. yeah. And now what's some of the stuff we have here? So we, you know, we have so many different things here, which is the most wonderful thing about this shop. So some of this is, uh, you know, hand-turned wood bowls by John Santoro and Steve DuPoyan, who are local uh, woodworkers. We have Look at that thing. used glass, which is a great seller here, too, because it's just so beautiful and sparkly. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all this these. This is um, Vera Clausen, who is a Chelmsford resident, and she makes these beautiful glass mosaics. And uh, people love those. They're very popular as yeah. well. Yeah. We have traditional stained glass from another Chelmsford resident, Susanna Delgado. And then we have paintings and uh, all different kinds of media. This is Alcohol in Portraits, uh, Liz Jagasathi, LKJ Ink Art. She's going to teach a class in how to make these um, ink, alcohol ink art portraits. Yeah, uh, Christine yeah. Christine Senna is going to teach a class in poured painting. Um, we do, Hina Kaleem does the dotted painting. She teaches a class in that as well. Yeah. So it's all about bringing people in and getting them to experience the different arts that we have as well. Yeah, you know, you guys have something here. This is going to be something special as time goes on and more and more people take advantage of this resource. I mean, this is really going to be not just a retail shop, but really like a, a hub of this community. That, That's what we, our vision is that it's a community space that's yeah. gonna help the whole community. So all these local artisans are like 60 local businesses that you're supporting when you come in here. Right. And they work hard, they come in here and um, make a community of artisans, and then we wanna draw the greater community in to creating art. Yeah. So come in here and you've always wanted to learn how to do something, you know, you don't have to be Picasso, you come in here and we'll show you a new medium and maybe you love it and it right. takes you somewhere. Right, exactly, and, and the book club, the lessons, the whole thing, it, it's just such a, such a great thing. Now we have uh, so many other things, I, I don't want us to uh, end up short on time, but uh, just a moment about your story. Um, we, we heard from Eileen and Sarah how they got started and what the... Um, your phone rang at Sarah, and this was something that yeah, appealed Sarah, to you. Sarah talked to me about it a few times, because um, we're neighbors, so we see each other yeah. often. And, uh, yeah, when this building came up for lease, she said, you know, that craft shop, that would be perfect. And I was like, you know what? It really <laughs> would be. Yeah. Um, the building's amazing. So the building really was a catalyst, and it's part of Chelmsford history. And I don't know, it spoke to us. We came and we looked at it, and while we were peeking in the windows, the owner of the building just popped up and was like, hey, I can show you that space. So no everything sort of just felt like it was supposed yeah. to happen. It fell into place. Eileen came on board, and Eileen's amazing. And uh, I didn't know Eileen before. Sarah knew Eileen, and we just like hit it off. and. Um, it's wonderful. We couldn't do this without her. She's fantastic. So the three of us have just made our um, made our dream come true. Well, you know, you can you can feel a synergy of, of the three of you together, just making this um, this whole thing come alive. And congratulations on it. It's just absolutely fantastic. We do have a couple of more things we want to see. There's a lot to see here. So let's go have a look. Chris, some of the fabrics we have here, I mean, you don't even think of that when we're talking about art, but it's really, these are just absolutely fantastic. Who are the artists here and what are we so talking about? this artisan, um, Queen, she makes these beautiful handmade clothes from fabric that she imports 
from Ghana, Africa, which is where she is originally from, but now she lives in Littleton. So she imports the fabric, cuts designs, and sews everything here. So we have a selection now of dresses from her. We have unisex shirts that are for men and women. Yeah, you know the the colors and fabrics and designs from Africa are just absolutely breathtaking. They're beautiful. You, you we, my wife and I were watching a thing on a volcano in Africa, and they go into this village, and it's these, you know, it's really a rural area, mm -hmm. but everybody is so dressed up, and the yeah. colors are so beautiful, and it's just really. And impressive. so you're, you know, helping two economies with this because sure. you're supporting our local craftsperson, but you're supporting the community that she's from as well, so exactly. she gets her fabric yep. from there. Yep, yep, spread it around, yeah. And what else do we have here now? We also have um, these beautiful felted wool scarves by Susan Forg. Oh, yeah. These are, you know, she f puts felt onto a silk background. And we oh. also have, like, hand-dyed, uh, hand-painted silk scarves. This is Maria Testa. Beautiful. To, uh, woven. Caroline Ronton makes these woven wraps. We have children's hats, scarves, gloves, mittens. We have uh, all of these bags <laughs> and journal covers that are made by another artisan. If, if somebody's mean, looking for something, it's here. There's everything. Yeah. And our, oh, our tutu dresses, we have Halloween costume tutus right now. But Missy Casserly, who does these, she makes us tutus all year long. Kids love them. They come in. She'll have Christmas designs for the yeah. holidays that you can come in and buy your beautiful tutu And Christmas you and Eileen as well, right? Eileen and I are fabric um, design, uh, fiber artists. So we make a lot of the things in here. I do mainly children's clothing. And Eileen does a lot of, she's got scarves and hats and the donut pillow, which the, that donut pillow is amazing. People People love those. They're Who so doesn't popular, love a good right? donut pillow, So right? popular. <laughs> so, yes, Eileen and I have um, many things in here as well. Just absolutely beautiful. Eileen makes these mermaid tail blankets. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, they're oh, look really, at that. really cool. Oh, yeah. I have a five-year-old granddaughter. I can imagine that is absolutely fantastic. I make a lot of children's dresses. Um, yeah. Children's clothing, so. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And, you know, there's a lot of upcoming events here, too. Um, why don't we go out front? We'll take a look at the calendar and see what's in store. Let's do that. <laughs> well, ladies, I'll tell you, we have absolutely enjoyed this so much, seeing everything you, you have. And there's, um, as we were talking to Carissa, there's actually some upcoming events here yes. that we, we want to talk about. Well, every Sunday from now until Christmas, we have a featured artisan coming in to do a trunk show. Um, bringing more of their products and more of some special features that they may have from 3 to 5 every Sunday here at the Artisans Exchange. You can see one of our fantastic artists. Um, the Sunday after Thanksgiving, we have a Young Artist Showcase. So that one will be local young artists, kids that are just spectacular kids. We have two signed up already um, that are going to be showing some of their work. and. Of course, the three of us will have an owner's showcase the um, Sunday before Christmas. Of so you course. can see yeah. and purchase some of our, <laughs> um, our work. So that is one event we have. We also have coming up a lot of events at Christmas time. Um, we're getting together with some of the local businesses with the um, CCA and Beatles and the Picture Yourself Framing and we're hoping three trolls games. I'm throwing them in there, so sure. now they have to now do it. Now there's a commitment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to do a holiday gift stroll oh, yeah. um, in town here. So that's going to be December 8th from okay. all day. So we're inviting the town to come out and support your local businesses and do some gift shopping at that time. Catch Hanukkah, catch Christmas, catch whatever you may celebrate and buy something for someone and yeah. support local shops. You know, and I'll tell you, it's so important, that, as we say at the CBA all the time, you know, buy local, you know, anytime you can. But one of the things, if you have somebody that you don't know what to get them, yeah, it's here. It's here. <laughs> I mean, this is like, and you can buy, you could walk into any room in this store. That's right. In this, I don't even want to call it a store, but you could walk into any room here, touch something and say, this would be fantastic for a dozen people in my life. Absolutely. That it's just, it's going to grab them, and, and you're going to say it's local, it was handmade, it was, you know, I, I know a person who knows the person who made this. Absolutely. That's it's a right great here connection. in Chelmsford. Somebody from Chelmsford made this, somebody from Westford made this. Um, and you may find so many things 
to buy that you don't know which one to buy, so get a gift card. That's well, okay, there too. There you go. Get a gift <laughs> we, card. We support that as well. Or buy them both. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. And um, December 13th, we're also having a men's shopping night. And as you had oh, mentioned, really? the um, craft beer company up in uh, store up in North Chelmsford, yeah. they're coming to do free craft beer tastings that night, gentlemen, from 6 to 8. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> the yes. date is what? Let me get that on my calendar. Get that, put that in your phones right now. December 13th, it's yeah. a Thursday evening from 6 to 8 p.m. We're having free, free craft beer, beer tasting, tasting while you're while you doing shop. Your Christmas shopping. So your women or significant other will come in and make a registry, perhaps. There they can come and tell us what they want. So you come in and say, hey, did my girl come and say that they wanted something? Yes, she did. Here it is. They can go pick it out. I'll wrap it for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, wrap it, go get yourself a beer and hang out with us. Yeah. Or um, just bring a bag and start filling it. Just fill yeah. it right on up. <laughs> I'll fill it up for you. It'll be fine. You know, we were, um, we were joking earlier about I tell my kids I don't need another sweater, I don't need another tie. All I want is Kona coffee and real maple syrup. That's because it. Because those are things that, you know, and I'm of that age, right? I don't splurge on myself to buy, you know, real maple syrup anymore. But right here, if you, if somebody, <laughs> if you have somebody in your life and they unwrap chumps with maple syrup or Bolrica fresh honey or any of these things, it is going to be an absolute hit, an absolute winner, along with so many of these other fantastic things. Ladies, we're short on time. I knew the, the time was going to fly <laughs> by. Sarah, Carissa, Eileen, thank you all so much for thank having us Thank you so us much here. for having us. It has been an absolutely, it. it's been a wonderful day for us. And folks, we're at a place right now where this is going to be an important part of our community. I hope you come down. It's um, the fall of 2018. I know we run reruns later, but come on down here and have a look around. You're going to be absolutely floored. For Paul Aronian and John Harrington and all the folks at Chelsea Telemedia, I'm Bill Martin. Thanks for watching. <laughs>